Welcome to Yubico. In this video in the How To series, I will demonstrate configuring the YubiKey with a static password. This is a feature supported by every YubiKey sold today, and when properly configured, will cause your YubiKey to always emit the same password each time you press the button. This is often used to enter long or random passwords that are hard to crack. To program the YubiKey with a static password, you will need the cross-platform personalization tool. Download it from yubico.com slash pt. I now run the personalization tool and insert my YubiKey. The programming status shows that slot 2 is empty, so I will use this slot for my static password. Beware of overwriting a slot that is not empty. Looking at the supported features block, I see a tick against the static password, so I'm good to go. Click the static password menu option. I have two choices for configuring a static password in my YubiKey. The scan code option allows you to program the YubiKey to omit a specific password of up to 38 characters, while the advanced mode contains legacy options for different generation schemes not recommended for general users. The YubiKey presents itself to your computer as a keyboard. Scan codes refer to the codes generated by a keyboard. Your operating system maps the scan codes to the actual characters you see on the screen. I select the empty slot on my YubiKey, slot 2. In this mode, either paste or type in the password that you require in the password field. The scan codes for each character that you enter are displayed on the right for your reference. Note the password length above the password field tells me how many characters I've entered so far. To program your YubiKey, simply click the right configuration button. I'm then prompted to save the configuration log file. The log file provides a record of the configuration, which will allow me to reprogram a similar configuration in the future. After making my choice, the YubiKey is successfully configured as reflected by the new entry in the results block. Let's show what's happening by going to my text editor and touching the button on my YubiKey for three or four seconds to activate slot two. There we go. To find out more, head over to yubico.com. 